Mr. Gerd, please determine the feasibility of placing the occupants of cells J4 and J5 into one cell. I will look into that, sir. It was infernally annoying being held prisoner by all those androids, Cyrano. Especially because androids are inherently inferior to human beings, don't you know? In every way. Oh, really? Inferior? Why do you say that? But of course they're inferior, my good sir. It goes without argument. They simply are. I may agree with you, but exactly why do you think they are? They're intrinsically not as good as people. That's just the way it is and always will be. Oh, all right then. Hmm, I guess so. Mr. Mudd, Mr. Jones, I happen to overhear your remarks. Yes, Mr. Spock. The argument you are employing, Mr. Mudd, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the fallacy of Ipse Dixit. I thought he was persuasive. That may seem so, Mr. Jones, but his argument is invalid. It employs the fallacy of dogmatically expressing an opinion as if it were indisputable fact. Mr. Mudd, you employed this fallacy when you stated without proof that androids are inferior to humans in all ways. You further stated that it was true because that's the way things are. Such unsupported assertions are not valid arguments since they provide no proof of their contentions. When reasoning correctly, it is important to provide true premises and actual support of those premises, instead of simply stating a conclusion and expecting it to be accepted as somehow intrinsic. Yes, of course. Thank you, friend Spock. Indeed. I shall definitely endeavor to reword my statements in the future, my good sir. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid, and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as ipse dixit, also known as the fallacy of the bare assertion. It's only logical. <laughs>